Welcome back. Tonight, many children will be out trick or treating and many experts say make sure that you're doing everything that you can to protect your little ones. First off, make sure your child gets a good dinner. Taking some water while trick or treating can help ghosts and goblins stay hydrated. And when it comes to their costume, make sure that uh, they it makes it fits well so that they don't trip. Also use a flashlight or reflective tape so they're easily seen. And experts say they also warn to wait before eating the goodies. When the, your child brings the candy home, it's always a good idea to have an adult look over the candy and make sure everything's in commercially wrapped packages and that it's safe to be eaten. Young children should be accompanied by an adult when trick-or-treating for teens who go without parents. Make sure you go over the route that they'll take and make sure that you go over pedestrian safety. It's shaping up to be a severe season for RSV. Some doctors are saying it'll be one of the worst that they can remember. But we could have an RSV vaccine by next fall. Four vaccines could be nearing review by the FDA and more than a dozen others are in testing. A long acting injection designed to be given right after birth is also in the works. In a recent clinical trial, it was 75% effective at heading off RSV infections, but needed medical attention. Tens of millions of kids around the world get RSV every year, and seniors can get it too, but the last therapy approved was in 1998. How much have you spent on Halloween? Up next, a closer look at the dollars dished out.